All right, all right. What's going on, party people? This your man Griff. I'm over here in the hustler lounge. All right, I'm in the hustler lounge. So for those of you who are there hustling, we're in the lounge tonight. All right, um, I'm gonna try to make this real quick for y'all. Um, a couple of days ago, I ran into a problem and I've ran into it before. And it was concerning printing. One of the issues, and I completely forgot about it because it's been a while since I've had this problem. And most of the time when it happens, I'm in a rush and I really don't have time to deal with it like I probably should. So this time I had a little more time on my hands and I had to sit down and think about, okay, I don't know why it happened. What can I do to fix, correct the issue? And what happened was that I printed a set of documents on my printer over here and then I set in my other printer. And when I did that, the prints, the documents that came out here were all letter and the documents that came out at the other printer was legal and letter. Everything was perfectly sized, fitted in, nothing, you know, but it was letter and legal. So how about that? Mm. Why do I be yarning every time I get on here with y'all? Because I'm tired. <laughs> but I sat there and looked at those documents. And I said, well, let me look at here and figure out what's going on on a computer. And when I looked, I was like, okay, it is letter and legal. And I'm like, okay, I need to get these legal printed without having to reprint the whole packet. <laughs> and I was like, I do not feel like doing that. And even though I had some time, I didn't have enough time to go through. And in the past, I would just print one, you know, like, okay, let me go through, print this, print that. I don't know why I didn't realize this. And then all of a sudden it dawned on me. I can use the organized page feature in Adobe. So I'm gonna show that to y'all real quick. So in the organized page feature, you can select pages that you want to print. And the reason what made me think about this is because a couple of days ago, a day or two prior to that, I was looking at some documents and I had clicked on a document, let's just say this, and then I ended up closing it. And then when I went to print, for whatever reason, it even though I had selected all, but it, for whatever reason, it printed that page only that page or something to that effect and I was like okay that's weird didn't understand it um but then I got to think and I said well maybe while I'm in here all the legal pages like this one this one this one boom and you have to look for like I said before the little slender pages not the thick ones and ain't nothing wrong being thick, but you know, I had to get the slender ones for this here. So I selected, I, I remember what I did now. It wasn't that I had clicked from print from here. So I accidentally clicked print from here, thinking that I was going to be able to print all of those pages and look right here. That's what it was. I didn't close it out, I hit print. And I was thinking that, okay, I could hit print from this spot and it would print everything, but it ended up printing that one page. And then I went, so when I said, well, let me try this again. And boom, I can print all of these pages right from here to whatever print I want to go to. So what I ended up doing was I selected all of the legal pages in that document. And then I hit print. And then it selected them right here. It says selected pages and boom, I was good to go. Sorry about that, that was my iPad. And then I was able to print everything that I needed. And then when I was at the, the signers table, all I did was when I came to the letter version of what was legal, what should have been legal, I just pulled that out and stuck the legal in there and, and everything flowed with no problems whatsoever. So this is a way that if you need to print selected pages, you miss something. 
Now, of course, you can do a range if you already know what the ranges are. But this here can be a little bit quicker and everything. And you say, well, man, looking at these pages, they're a little small. So I need to see them a little bit clearer. And you can zoom in some, okay? So you go down here in the bottom and you can zoom in so you can get a better feel for said pages and everything. Um, and as you can see, this is legal versus the one above it. You can see this here versus that one, the size of it. And you can go through this way and select all of the pages that you need to print. And then that way you can get a little bit closer um, to see what these pages are. So that you like, okay, I want to, I want to get this one, that one, boom, 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 and everything. And you see this one, and all you got to do is look at the page above it, look at the edges, so you can see, okay, this one is legal, that one's letter, and this is a quick and simple, easy way that you can print your documents if that happens. So I don't know why I didn't think of it before or realize that, but I do now and I want to share that with you. Um, so that is it. If you got any questions, got any suggestions, hit me up. Um, other than that, I'm about to do some other work and finish looking at the Equalizer with Queen Latifah in it. Uh, Cause that's my, one of my favorite shows from back in the seventies and eighties. I think it probably was the eight, no, late seventies, eighties and all of that. All right, talk to y'all later. Peace.